Well, here to discuss the guidelines for indoor vaccine requirements is Ravino Kular. She's a global infectious diseases expert and an epidemiologist. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Rochelle, for having me on. So we're already seeing some businesses and venues starting to incorporate showing proof of vaccination. So what's the latest update on New York's uh, planned dates? Well, right now, New York has uh, has this in the uh, New York has uh, mandated indoor face masks to be implemented at all indoor uh, indoor places, which I highly applaud them. I mean, we know that face masks work. We know it's not just going to take vaccinations in order to decrease the caseload uh, of this virus, especially with the Delta variant. And those face masks are going to help with decreased transmission and help with, uh, with truly tackling this uh, pandemic. Now, this is quite a quick turnaround. So what are your impressions of this program, obviously, as, as businesses try and prepare for this? Uh, well, I think that the businesses, they have enough lead time here. I would be surprised if most of these businesses are unaware of these mandate of vaccinations coming. Uh, this is what point we have come to here in the U.S., where there has to be uh, vaccine mandates in order for people to actually get vaccinated. And it's sad that it's come to that, but that's what has to happen. So I believe businesses, they are preparing. They're preparing to check uh, people's vaccination cards to ensure that they have at least one dose of the vaccine in order for them to enter their facility. And we saw how contentious it was even with masks. So how are customers reacting now to these new restrictions? Uh, well, there you have your mix again. You have some customers which are entirely upset that they have to get a, uh, a mandated vaccine, which has been proven to be effective and safe. And then you have those customers which are applauding uh, finally the state taking some uh, some leadership in, in putting this in their own hands. And, and I think that those individuals which are highly opposed to these mandates, those are the ones which are those anti-vaxxers which unfortunately are really inhibiting us in progressing forward of, in this pandemic. So do we know which other regions are looking at implementing plans like this and how soon we might see more states taking this on? Definitely. So I know that uh, L.A. County, they are looking at uh, also mandating uh, vaccinations uh, in indoor facilities. They just last week uh, passed a bill. They passed an ordinance where uh, that went through in terms of uh, in terms of those vac at least one dose of the vaccine is required proof of that in order to enter any indoor facility. San Francisco as well has already implemented uh, or will be implementing this as well. But to my knowledge, I don't believe that there's any uh, any state that has has really, uh, really thoroughly mandated this yet. I know that that it's in the works. So then as we look at some of the perhaps lessons that we've learned from the rollouts in Europe, do we know how difficult it might be for businesses, big and small, to really maintain this? I think it is going to be difficult, especially making sure that those vaccination cards are real. I mean, that is a key item here. Somebody may be able to get a vaccination card online, which is fake, and that is entirely going uh, against the main purpose of this. So uh, I, think it's in, I think it's very important for businesses to really make sure that they have enough personnel which are hired to really check those vaccination cards, to make sure that they are real vaccination cards, and 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 to deal with the with it with the uh, high uh, customers that they may face, and having a, having some kind of uh, policy in place there. Now we know it can be awkward. We know that business owners don't want to have to be the vaccine card police, or you know, no one wants to be the mask police telling someone to pull up their mask. So how will businesses on the front lines manage this? And what about authorities? What can they do to really crack down on some of these fake vaccination cards? I mean, I think it's going to have to come from from each of the counties. I think there has to be some kind of penalty that if if there are fake vaccination cards, what is the penalty? And and that all goes back to law. And there has to be some kind of penalty that's put in place for every individual to, to be honest and to not have those fa fake vaccination cards. So I think it goes to the governor, to the mayors, for them to take up uh, take up and write up policies that can really, uh, really work on, on uh, citizens being honest.
We certainly hope that that honor system holds up, and if not, policymakers do their part. Thank you so much. Ravino Kula there, global infectious diseases expert and epidemiologist. Thank you, Rochelle. Well, as in